Hey, what's going on guys? Just wanted to show you the uh, new reef rock I put in there. Oh, it's actually the Marco Reef Saver Rock. Ordered another 50 pound box from JNL Aquatics. Uh, had it curing downstairs for about a month before I put it in and my reef buddy Jack came, uh, helped me break it up, helped me put it in and uh, just helped me with placement. It can be quite hard to, doing that by yourself and daunting especially after the fact when the tank's full of stuff you know after I move the sand so I have the rock sit on the bottom it was just a cloudy mess not fun to work in at all after everything's in um, but let me just show you the rock and then just a little fish update so this big chunk I, I just put there just because it, it was just kind of unique how it how it's shaped. I put my Christmas tree Monty on it. And that one's just kind of sitting there by itself. Definitely gives the tank more depth. Foreground and a background now. And then uh, all this new stuff on the right. I mean, you can tell it's lighter than, than the stuff that's been in there for long. And these are just pieces that we just broke up and they pretty much turned out to be random as far as trying to break them right. It didn't work out too well. I just used screwdrivers. Um, using one was just a nightmare, but if you use three, you can kind of break them how you want. Anyways, um, just some more places for the fish to swim through and hide. These are all glued together with reef glue. They're not touching the back or glass or anything. Um, they're all base rocks on the bottom and that's really it for the rock I mean I, I'm definitely a lot happier with it it fills the tank out makes it, makes it look like there's a lot more in there just fills the space nicely and I just wanted to mention the Antheus that I, I got I mean I got him a while back you might have seen him in the videos but I never spent time mentioning it this big one here is a the red fairy Antheus uh, these guys are called Dispar, these two kind of orange-pink ones. And then there's one in the back. He's a lot darker. He's a male Lyrie tail. I ordered a male and a female, but I found the female just sitting on the bottom of the tank there one morning just with her eye rotting out. And I, uh, just couldn't see her suffer like that. I had to get her out of there. Um, everything else is doing good. I mean, the clowns, the corals. Let's see, where's the fire shrimp? I don't know. Uh, the watchman goby with the pistol shrimp. Sleeperhead gobies around. Uh, my wrasse jumped out. I also found her on the floor the, the other morning. The Lubbock's wrasse. Um, just a risk of having an open top, I guess. I, I try to be aware of jumpers before I buy a fish you know hoping they won't jump out but I guess stuff happens I mean this this guy he's the aggressive one I'm actually probably gonna trap him so you put him on a timeout or give him away because um, he sometimes doesn't let the other fish eat you know he's the biggest antheus I got a bunch of different antheus hoping they would school but that's not the case getting the, the different species I guess if you get them all the same then then they will and besides that, I mean, you see the bubble tip split. I know I mentioned that in another video, but I'm going to be giving one of them away or putting them one down below for now. Just, I just don't want them to get out of hand because they know they're difficult to remove. But I've seen some good tricks with return pumps. Oh, there's a sleeperhead goby. Oh, and the fire shrimp is... Oh, the lighting isn't going to cooperate, but there's the fire shrimp there. Anyways, that's really it for this video, guys. I'll uh, be getting a new frag order to fill in the new rock I put in. So I'll try to have that update uh, next week. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time.